Hey, hello everyone, this is Diana Castillo from MoneyMakerArea.com and in this video it's going to be about affiliate marketing for beginners. These are going to be six mistakes that you need to avoid if you really want to make money online. But before I get into the topic, if this is the very first time you're on my channel, welcome. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. I'm updating my channel pretty consistently and I usually talk about how to make money online, passive income, lead generation and traffic sources. So if that's something that you really want to go ahead and master, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. And if you want to know what's my number one recommendation to make money online, I mean passive income, I'm going to leave the link below. It's going to be the very first link in the description. Again, let me go back to the topic as I told you. I'm going to be telling you about the six mistakes that you need to avoid if you really want to make money online. Number one, you are not building an audience. Yes, I know that sometimes you hear people that says like, hey, you know what? I just jumped into this opportunity and I made $10,000 overnight. That's cool. That's okay. And that's totally possible. But the thing is that these people who are making money quote unquote overnight the truth is that they do have an audience they have been working with our audience for years right and if you are not building an audience if you don't have audience right now well no audience equals no money okay and the thing is that you need to understand that building an audience is not it's something that is not going to happen overnight okay the other thing is that you need to choose a platform or a way in which you're going to create it. Okay. You need, let's say that, okay, I want to create a YouTube channel. So I'm going to be uploading videos pretty consistently. Oh no, you know, I feel more comfortable on Facebook. So I'm going to create now my Facebook group that is going to be related to my niche, right? Or maybe you are doing Instagram because you feel comfortable creating images that are eye catchy. So you're going to be an influencer on Instagram okay so that's something that you need to take into consideration the other thing is that you are not providing any kind of value okay you need to give us a reason why we need to be listening to you okay you need to understand that you are gonna be building a relationship at the end of the day people buy from people they know they like and they trust Okay, and if you provide valuable information, that's a key point or a way in which you can create a relationship with them. They're going to recognize you as an expert. Okay, you don't need to be a master in all, but you need to be one step um, forward from your current audience. Okay, so if you're passionate about your niche, the topics that you're going to cover, chances are that you're doing research every single day the thing that you can put is like whatever you learn you can use your own voice right you can share what you learn and that's a good way to provide value the other thing is that you need to understand that people don't like to be sold but they love to buy so if you're providing them valuable information pretty consistently whenever you're going to do the pitch right and you're going to be promoting a product they understand like hey this guy or this girl they're always provided me really valuable tips so it's logical that whenever they refer me to something it's going to be something that is going to help me okay so if you are pitching 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 and this is really important especially if you, you are doing emails right people are going to be like whoa i better don't open these emails but because every single time i receive an email from here or her it's all about trying to sell me something again people don't like to be sold but they love to buy okay i i really don't know how to emphasize this but stop stop spamming okay please stop spamming uh something well this is actually funny in a way every single time i ask people to leave me a comment if they do have some questions you know they have some comments here on my youtube channel so they can put it in the comment area but sometimes and this is getting often right there are people who are actually trying to pitch my audience and they're putting that comment 
on my comment area on my videos right but the thing is that they don't understand that YouTube understand that you're in spamming and YouTube is not even showing your comment okay and the other thing is that people there are other people who are reporting you okay because you are gonna select that comment and you're gonna click recess report so sooner rather than later your account is gonna be banned so this is super ineffective and you're wasting ton of time okay you need to do marketing you need to do what I told you before you need to provide valuable information and you're being you need to be building an audience you're gonna be doing what I call attraction marketing so people are gonna come to you rather than you chasing them the other thing is that how come you think that people are gonna click on the link that it's randomly there okay who who, who are you Okay, people are more skeptical, so that's why I told you before you need to provide valuable information and you need to build your audience, you need to build a relationship with your market. Another thing that this is a beginner mistake is that people are promoting unverified offers. What do I mean by that? That you are going to be promoting products or services that you haven't tested or used yourself. How come you're going to promote something that you haven't tested? okay this is something that I emphasize a lot okay don't be offering one thing because someone told you that that's the best thing ever that's gonna be the biggest thing ever no at least create a trial account use it for a month you know ask for a review copy if you can do it and verify that if it's actually doable this is a great product this is a great service and if you decide it is gonna be a product that you're gonna be promoting right because at the end of the day it's your name that it's gonna be there right it's you that you're gonna be there offering these people something and you are not 100% sure that's gonna work and then people are gonna say they're gonna say like oh this product is not the one that doesn't work it's this person who refers me to this product that it's uh, you know scammer it's not what you told me yada 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 okay so avoid promoting offer after an offer take care of your reputation make sure that you are testing whatever product or service you are gonna promote remember that this is a long-term game okay so stop the shiny object syndrome focus and understand that this is a business and this is your business okay take care of it last but not the least people are not building an email list okay people are not building an email list yeah at the beginning I told you that you need to create an audience but you also need to capture those people's emails it is a really bad idea if you're not doing that why because Hey, nowadays I can be on YouTube, but I don't know, I can be doing something or maybe YouTube changed their policies and they discover that my account is going against their policies. Or maybe you have a Facebook group that is super active, but you know, bad people exist and they start reporting your YouTube, uh, your group, your Facebook group, or maybe your Facebook page. Remember what happens to Facebook pages. Now they are not really relevant as they used to be before so now people are not getting that interaction so you understand social media is always changing a lot of people are telling me that it's like hey Diana email marketing really email marketing is dead well it's not email marketing is not dead because guess what whenever the phone bill send you and uh, send you their bill it's through email so you are used to receive important information on your email okay the other thing is that hey you don't own Facebook so if you are building your audience on Facebook Messenger and they decide to shut down your page what's gonna happen yeah you're gonna have a huge subscriber through Messenger but you are not gonna be able to use Messenger because that list was tied to that page right so you understand the concept right you understand the concept here but you own the list Okay, you own your email list. The only thing that you need to do 
if you want to grow your email list faster is that you need to offer a lead magnet again you need to offer them a valuable information that is going to be uh, or that they're going to get if they pay with their email or their name and email address okay again once you have your email list you need to provide value 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 and then you're going to need to provide an offer remember what i mentioned before it's not about being pitching all day long okay so these are the five mistakes that people are doing online and these are the reasons why maybe you're not doing money online or you might not be doing as much money as you actually should be so if you have some comments some questions leave it in the comment area and i'd be more than happy to answer them this is it for this video if you like it if you find some golden nuggets give me a thumbs up that's going to help me it's going to help my video it's going to help my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and i see you on the next video